what is going on guys modsville usa here back with part four of the ps3 tutorial series uh, so we've just converted a rebug retail kex console into a dex console um, now if you go to try to sign in see we got this air 802a224 well it's a day I'm going to show you how to get past that you got a permanent fix and it's going to require webman uh, or webman mod preferably the latest webman mod so what we're going to do is download that it is no longer included with rebug toolbox like it used to be that's all right so you're gonna click the link in the description and come to this page here. We got this Webman Mod 4.85. I would recommend whenever you're watching this, just grab the latest release of Webman Mod. This one came out 10 days ago. Just go ahead, download it, and drag it to the root of your flash drive. So I already have mine downloaded. Let's see. And I've keep my packages in this packages folder here. You can do the root or packages. Packages works with rebug. I like it. it keeps it a little bit cleaner. So we're gonna plug the flash drive into the PS3. And we are done on our computer. So you get your flash drive plugged in. Now you're just gonna install your webman mod. We go into packages. And I already have it installed, so I'm gonna hit no. Now before we actually run the application, which installs it to the console, we are going to be briefly converting back to Kex custom firmware. So we're gonna go on to Rebug Toolbox. And we are going to rewrite target ID in Flash. The system will reboot. Oh man, so my capture card is tripping out. Once you reboot your console, just go ahead and install Webman Mod. I recommend holding L1 down, hitting X, do the full install. It's just going to reset your PS3. Okay, so the PS3 is reset. Now we have this Webman Games option. You're going to want to go in here. Oh my god, go to Webman Setup. I'm sorry for the quality on this, guys. This, um, my HDMI splitter, I think, is on the way out. We're gonna go into Webman Setup. Alright, and in here, I'm gonna go to IDPS. What you're gonna wanna do is click this IDPS box here. Scroll down to Save. Okay, so instead of restarting, we're going to go back to Rebug Toolbox. We're going to rewrite target ID. We're going to swap level 2 kernel. It's going to reboot. Okay, now we are back on DEX. I'm just going to sign in. And as you can see, we are back online. Uh, so yeah, simple as that, guys. And that will be permanent. When you restart your console, it will you'll be able to get online. No problem, no more 
stupid air. And hopefully, we figure out what the hell's going on for the next video, because this was pretty unbearable. And I'm sorry for a look like this, but I hope it gets the job done. I'll see you guys on the next one.